Good evening and welcome to Front Row at Bop Shop Records. I'm Jan Niffler, the director of Mojo Sustainability here, and we're looking forward to the time when we can have more people here than just our staff and our crew, as dedicated and lovable as they might be. We're almost there, but for now we're still streaming only, but keep an eye on bopshop.com and bopshop on Facebook and Instagram to keep track of how that's going to play out. Next Thursday, something worth, worth staying up for is the return of Joe Fonda, Thomas Heberer, and Harvey Sorgan. That's at 8 o'clock on April Fool's Day, so be sure to join us online for the festivities. Tonight's show is made possible with the support of Jazz Road, a national initiative of South Arts, which is funded by the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation, with additional support from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. So much has happened since the last time Philippe Lem played Bob Shop Records, back in March of 2019. I am so inspired by these gentlemen. Their courage and their resiliency, they are stronger than most. Their new album is out tomorrow. It's called First Steps on Outside In Music. That's Nick Finzer's label. If you'd like to support Philippe and his trio on this tour, you can do that via Venmo at Philippe, P-H-I-L-I-P-P-E dash Lem, L-E-M-M. -M. Join me in welcoming bassist Jeff Koch, pianist Addison Fry, and drummer Philippe Lem, the Philippe Lem Trio.
Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening, guys. How about it for Edison Fry on the piano? Yeah. And you're listening to Mr. Jeff Koch on the bass. Jeff Koch hey. on the bass. So yeah, we're um, live here for the people that are watching this through uh, through uh, the the camera in our uh, computer here at the Bob Shop at Ro in Rochester, and um, we are doing three shows. Um, Tonight in Rochester and tomorrow and the day after in Buffalo. And for us, it's um, first of all, it's amazing to play music again because the last year um, didn't allow us to do a lot of that. And um, so it's special for us to be on stage and to kind of uh, play together and sort of play for you guys. And um, it's also special for another reason because the record comes out, which is a very beautiful occasion for us to present this new music to you. But there is definitely something that's on our minds and that we want to share with you, um, which is that the record was already finished. Um, and the original member of this trio, Angelo Di Loretto, uh, passed away um, in October last year. And I think about him every day and it's it's kind of, it was a, not an easy decision to keep playing this music because we want to um, honor him, honor his compositions, honor his musical spirit, <coughs> his friendship, um, and at the same time tell his story and tell what beautiful things he brought to the world. So that's why I decided, or we decided to keep playing this music and to kind of uh, pursue doing this. Um, you just heard one of his compositions, Fun Chao, um, that's on our second record. And yeah, we were a, a trio for 10 years. We met each other at the Manhattan School of Music and um, played many, many concerts and tours together. And I learned so much from him. So um, all the time when we play his music, it's some sort of memory for, for me to still be with him. And um, so people won't forget the beautiful things that he brought to this world. And Funchal was definitely one of them. Um, the n song that we're going to play now, we were on tour in Belgium. Um, and we stayed at this potter's family. And um, they were kind enough to let us sleep in the store, um, surrounded by all the ceramics. Um, exactly, except for Angelo, they had a really nice little cabin for him outside. So he missed that experience. <laughs> but what he didn't miss was that the day after we bought a lot of their ceramics to kind of uh, take some memories home with us. Now, around Easter, they gave us a little tour in their workshop. And around Easter, they have a special um, batch of ceramics that they're making, which um, uh, this big oven has to be on for 72 hours straight. Uh, the oven is called the kiln. And um, the whole family sleeps in shifts so that the ceramics are done properly and when they showed this to us coming from the city this was just like a, uh, wow these people actually make beautiful things from scratch with their hands which was very inspiring to us so we decided to write a song about that this uh, tune is called the kiln which is an homage to this family and a memory to our beautiful time we spent with them i hope you like it
thank you. That, that's the song for the Potter's family in Belgium. So, and they're they're uh, the guy that made the pottery. His name is Marnique de Lange. So, if you're watching Marnique, this one is for you. <laughs> um, we're gonna continue with um, a cover, which is um, uh, probably my most favorite Johnny Mitchell song. This is our version of River of the album Blue by Johnny Mitchell. Hope you like it.
We are going to continue with a song, a composition by Angelo that was inspired by two things. Um, the Argentinian composer Alberto Inastera and a traditional Argentinian dance called the Malambo, which is performed by only men. Um, there's no melodic or harmonic instrument. It's only drums, dance and drums. And they carry these big drums on the side of their body while they're dancing. So Angelo called this cardio jazz because they must burn so many calories while doing this. Um, and he also called it cardio jazz because it's very fast and there are a lot of things happening. Um, and he won an ASCAP award for this song. Um, I think two years ago, was it? Um, yeah, I think two years ago. So an award-winning song written by Angelo Di Loretto. And um, we're going to do our best to play it for you. Here is Malambo.
We have two more songs for you. And they're both um, sort of high energy. Well, we'll start a little bit like uh, more relaxed with this, with this one. But um, for the musicians amongst us, and we are in a record store, so we're kind of insiders here. This one is in 11. It is a traditional Bulgarian song, which I heard for the first time 10 years ago um, from a group... Le Mystère Voix de Bulgare, The Mystery of the Bulgarian Voices. Um, unbelievable how, uh, how gorgeous. They sing it's all female choir. Um, I don't speak Bulgarian, so I thought in my imagination that they would be singing about some very deep philosophical or religious topics. It turns out it's really just about mundane, everyday things. A girl washing her clothes in the river or baking bread or... Very basic things, which doesn't take any of the anything away from the beauty of this music. Um, if you have a chance and you're interested in discovering some new music, I highly recommend you buy a record here, of course, <laughs> from Le Mystère Voix de Bulgare, or find the group online uh, at bobshop.com. I'm sure they uh, <laughs> they will ship it to you. Um, without further ado, this song is called Trenke Todorke. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And if you want to dance to it, make sure it's in 11. <laughs> Thank you. 
about it one more time for Edison Fry on the piano. <laughs> and Jeff Koch on the bass. Um, before we're going to play our last song, uh, a big, 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 big heartfelt thank you for Bob Shop, all the crew, everyone that works here for having us. Uh, this is the second time we're playing here and um, kind of feels like home already. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys make us feel very welcome. Such good energy in this place. So um, it's based in Rochester. So if you guys are watching this online on Facebook, please. When you drive through Rochester or you're coming upstate New York, check out this store, buy some records, support uh, this whole industry because, you know, it, um, records seem to be uh, dying out almost. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's such a beautiful art form, like to make a recording of something that uh, the stores that keep this art form alive are, um, are very special. And uh, if you have a chance, support them. So thank you for having us. Um, I also want a big shout out to the South Arts uh, Jazz Roads Foundation for um, helping us with this tour. Um, I couldn't have done this without their support. And um, so thank you, South Arts, for that. And we're going to play our last song, and which is the also the last song of the album, actually. The new album, which officially will come out tomorrow. We have a few for sale here tonight. Yes, it's called First Steps. Um, I'm very proud of it. And this is for all you coffee drinkers out there, people that can't live without caffeine, myself included. I hope you enjoy. This is called Caffeinated Souls.
Alison Fry on the piano, Jeff Koch on the bass, Philippe Lem. Thank you, Bob Shop. Thank you, South Arts. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, if you like the music, please listen to it, buy a record, Bandcamp, uh, or in the Bob Shop, or uh, my website. We have a tip jar, virtual tip jar tonight, which is the Venmo, Philippe Dash Lamb, or PayPal, Philippe Lamb Music. The Bitcoin address, which is a slash double night. No, I like the long thing. <laughs> Thank you for listening and check out the next concert at Bob Shop. Hey. Bye. Hey. <laughs> well, I've been driving, I've been riding, I've been beating the pavement, old man to New Orleans. I've been biting, I've been hiding the nails on my fingers Trying to figure out what it means But the road's been good to me Lord, you know I can't complain Yes, the road is all I know Without it, I wouldn't be the same But as I hold down, flying and defying